Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys just here, and I'm back yet again with yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video, as if you have not seen enough of these, right? But, this is of the new batch of Negatoys' Mirage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and today we're going to be talking about the Ultimate Foot Ninja. There they all are, on the box, hopping and jumping, and got pitchforks and... Whatever else. Sides of the box are nice. Nice artwork from Kevin Eastman. And it's got a little flappy thing. And it opens up. And it shows you again Ultimate Foot Ninja with some more artwork. And you get nice photos of the figure and all the various accessories. Just wait. On the back side of the box, meanwhile, you got all these new characters coming if you haven't already got them. Foot Enforcer is coming out soon. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure. Thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode. They are starting to hit Target store shelves now if you're interested in picking them up. I'll also have links on the screen somewhere. You can probably just click it and grab it if you'd like. But in the meantime, this is going to be a lot of fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look. Brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the ultimate foot ninja by NECA Toys. And see, uh, I wasn't joking, there is a ton of accessories in this box. This was insane to open up. I just, they just kept coming. I was like, oh, there's another slot, and there's more, and there's more, and you get the idea, you get the figure, and you get a whole bunch of accessories like Wolverine Claws. Except there's four blades, right? But you get the idea. And open-handed Wolverine Claws. Plus, you also get one trigger gun holding hand, which you can see the fingernails, which I'm assuming some of the hands are meant to just be colorized version of flesh human hands. And you have gloved hands as well, like these. And then you get a pair of weapon item holding hands, right? You can see the fingernails again, so it kind of goes back and forth depending on how you want to display them. Then you get this, which I'm not even going to pretend I know what it's called, but it's awesome. It's very reminiscent of Playmates toys, and it looks like a metal dousing rod. Boop, boop, beep, figure alerts, right? It's very cool. I like the little graphics on there, little black etchings, like illustrations, right, from the Mirage comic book. Same thing with this bladed weapon right here. That's cool. Basically an upgrade for Michelangelo's nunchucks, right? It's a metal chain on one side. You get a deadly blade. On the other side, you get a metal spike ball. It's painted nicely. It looks pretty good. You get four throwing stars. They're very teeny tiny. They're all one color. Just be careful. Don't drop them. No, oh my god, that's it's just gone south. Now, then you get a, a big sword that's got Mirage shading all over it like the old comic books nice glimmer right there and then you get a more shorter fatter sword I'm not a swords guy if you can tell and you get a silvery metal throwing frisbee of doom right there right throw that around and murder everyone instantly and then you get a gun which it's kind of funny to me you get all these weapons and swords and throwing knives and whatever and you get a gun uh, it's very simple and then you get a sword uh, it's covered in a sheath and you can put the sword in the sheath and it looks nice it's painted nice you got the little strap right there you can go over his shoulder you can go over his neck looks good all the weapons work they all make sense you got this giant pitchfork weapon which looks great you got a deadly blade on the other end and yeah that can do all kinds of damage again it's like an upgrade of Donatello's bow staff, right? Just all kinds of pointy. And then you get a little tiny knife you can stab yourself in the hand with, right? So that looks cool. You get the quiver with all the arrows in there. You get four arrows. So in case any are missing, there are four. Count them four, right? And they all fit in the quiver, which let's see if I can get them all going at once here. Just get them all in there. And yeah, hey, that works pretty good. Very cool, right? So then you get the bow, which actually has a string to it. It's very taut. This is a great bow and arrow set with the quiver. Totally rad. And you get a giant Foot Clan issued onesie, which is Velcro, which is nice to see. Cloth goods. It's huge. Big roby kind of thing with a little band to go around the waist, right? Just to be a little bit more Foot Clan fashionable. Now, you do get an extra head portrait or two, which is nice to see. So in total, you could have three Foot Clan members, one with this exaggerated hockey mask right here, or I guess you'd say catcher's mask, right? Whatever it is, you got this little back end piece like the robe is pulled back. And then yeah, eventually we'll get to the figure, right? So check it out, you got a Foot Clan guy, he's all clad in purple, he's got some black shading, all the line work, make it look like Mirage. This is more like the updated color classics, 
It looks good. It's all the basic articulation. If you've ever had a Foot Clan figure from NECA Toys, chances are you know how this guy moves around. Didn't have to heat anything. Wasn't worried about anything breaking. Everything looks good from the head to the arms, the waist, the legs, the feet. Everything looks good. I love the head portrait. I love that the neck is one piece. The head is one piece. If you want to swap it out, it's very easy peasy. So you can do the head portrait minus the red bandana if you want. And if you want to see what that looks like, not a whole lot of difference. And here he is with the other head portrait as well. Now, like I said, basic figure, right? Not very exciting. It's when you start equipping the figure with all the various accessories from throwing stars to bladed weapons to the swords everything makes this figure pop it's a lot of fun i'm happy to say the cloth goods with the wolverine claws i mean that looks pretty good right it's, it's totally bizarro you can really load this figure up it really does look good this is an army builder of course and i would say in all honesty much like all the other foot clan members Totally scales nicely with the new Mirage Turtles and the Battle Damage Shredder. And just to kind of show you all the various Foot Clan members from movies, video games, to old Playmates, to the cartoon TMNT. It's a lot of fun. Foot Clan has never looked better. Naked Toys is killing it on all Foot Clan avenues. I would say, if anything... Maybe have a little bit more battle damage to one. You could stab him with a sword or... Something to that degree where the turtles could really decimate them like they do in the original first issue. That would be kind of cool, right? But as always, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything the Foot Clan. It's a lot of fun. It's a great figure, and I think it'll make for a great army builder for those of you out there that are into it. So many accessories, so many weapons. You can use them with the turtles. Shredder, doesn't matter if you got the Mirage or otherwise. It'll go with a lot of different figures. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, there's always going to be more Ninja Turtles coming. Just stay tuned. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.